and we're there. Okay, but that definitely counts. And just to, there's actually going to be a course about that because I'll, I'll share my story with you. I've always liked selling and doing deals and building things. It's, it's been fun. And these last, I mean, here it is about to be May, then June, then July. July 17th, 2009 is when I started all of this. So that day is four years of doing this. I've learned the power of creating your own products. It is definitely a great way to go. I, like I said, you know, I'm not going to get too deep into it because there's going to be a whole section about that. But if you have the ability to create, definitely do it. Okay, let's see. Any more questions? Because, uh, just to explain real quick, what I'm going to do on these sessions is give you something that's already recorded, you know, to stir the creative juices. And then at the end of that, there'll be a Q&A session. You can ask about stuff in the video if you're unclear. And this it will go up in Hustle University at some point, you know, because this is actually day 14. And another thing with that, I really look at it that 30 days was ambitious and just, you know, because everyone in this group is smart. Everyone's ambitious and everyone's trying to do the best they can. And too many people fell behind, which lets me know that it was too much too soon. But I do believe stretching this out for 60 days is just going to be a better thing for everyone because there are some people that, because what I'm going to do is the 30 days are going to go, like I said, day 14 is going to go up tomorrow. Then day 15, it's going to go up. And I'm going to do, like I said, the two sessions. Like, we'll be doing this again next Monday, and we'll be doing it again next Thursday night. So there, there's going to be more communication. And at any time, and there are some questions that were sent to updates at HMS 300. I will have them in the next segment because uh, this week's been kind of crazy. But, you know, we're starting to work this thing out. Uh, definitely is getting better and giving more access. And if you haven't joined the Facebook group, join because uh, some people are putting up some really good information that you're missing. And if you're not in the group, I can't get it to you. So that's that. Any more questions? Because, you know, this this is strictly for questions. Like if you don't have any or it may come to you later, like I said, you can always email me at updates at hms300.com. Because it's like people seem to be good. I don't have any questions. Because I will hold if someone's like formulating something. And also, I'm trying to keep these things short too, because I know that you have a lot of things to do in your life. And that's why that segment was 16 minutes. And that's why this one is shorter, because I originally said 7 to 7.45. And oh, I was late because I had some internet, you know, my internet wasn't connected and I was freaking out. So I'm sorry I was late. But I think maybe 30 minutes will be good. A, a session that you watch and then maybe 10 minutes of Q&A I think that would be uh, pretty good oh here's another question are you still doing a passive income since a blog about blogging great question let me answer that I have suspended that blog because my expertise is in creating stuff I do have passive income but there is so much that goes along with that, and I had to really make a decision. Uh, am I going to be a passive income guy, or am I going to be the American Hustler? Uh, the American Hustler is more true to the things I've done for the last 12 years, which is turning some things into a lot of things. So it's uh, the core movement now, just to be clear, is I want to help as many people get to six-figure businesses as possible. You know, if, you know, the business does six figures, two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars $300,000, and then ultimately the owner makes an income of six figures. That's the new mission. That's the new mandate. And everything else is kind of falling to the side because what I believe is happening in the world in terms of technology, economies, we, there's going to be more people than uh, and, uh, maybe ever they are going to be self-employed. There's going to be a lot of businesses that serve their communities. I'll give you an example. There's a few businesses around here, and I've noticed this, and they're actually my favorite businesses. A lot of them are closed on Sunday, which means people are creating businesses, but they're having these values like, you know, we're only going to have 
to work, you know, from a business standpoint, it also cuts down your expenses dramatically. You don't have to be open on Sunday. Your insurance rate's lower. And you don't have to worry about scheduling someone for seven days, which can be huge. Can be, it can be huge. So what I see is by creating this course, by helping people figure out whatever it is that makes them tick, whatever they want to do, so they can get to that business so they can have a better life for their family and themselves. So I will touch on passive income as we get there, but I feel it's more important to do this and get it developed and put together and all the kinks and stuff out than to try to do that. There will be an American Hustler blog, but it's mostly going to be a place for some of my other ideas and just to hold the podcast links in the videos. Let's see. Do some months have more auctions than others? There are 53 this month within 100 miles. Um, yeah. Tax season, the number of auctions dramatically reduced because people get money to pay up their delinquencies and then people come out there, Big Willie style, I got money. I'm Dave Hester. Yep. So you have these two forces coming in at the same time, a shrinking inventory and increased demand which results in crazy prices. So after tax season and the would-be Dave Hester's ball out, literally and figuratively, then it opens up. Uh, my best months for buying were June, July, August, September, and October. Once it got a little cool down here, a lot of the old heads that kind of semi-retired, they would come out. But June through October, I was getting rooms and that, that came from my buying profile. It's just like, wow, this room I got for 300 bucks a day in October is going to cost me 700 if not 800 Same room, same stuff, but the summer creates reduced demand. You know, everyone gets hit by the summer except for businesses that cater to summer. And sometimes, you know, restaurants do well. And some restaurants do well, others suffer. So it really depends. But yes, there are definitely months where there's a way more units than others. But January through May can suck. You might be able to get some good stuff in January. And I think this year's tax season was screwed up because of the fiscal cliff. Then, you know, it was actually, yeah, it was screwed up in short. But and there was a lot of people who were just getting their refund. So you may experience more people with that big willy style a little later because of that. But there's clearly months where things are way more. But the summer months are great. And that's why you have to have a warehouse or someplace to store. So you can uh, put your nuts up away until you need them. Let's see. Got that, that, that. Okay. So I'm going to... Here we go. Let's see. This one's from Dan. I was wondering, are you going to bring into the HMS on ways of negotiating how we can develop better deals and getting the best deals? Uh, yeah, I'm actually going to do sales courses, training courses, negotiating. I, I'll give you an example. of, And I, I want this not just to be in terms of business, but I want you to use these things in all areas of your life. I just recently bought a new vehicle. I've been looking at this thing for two years. You know, I'm a little slow. And once I gathered my information and I realized that there was a glut of these vehicles in the metro Atlanta area because so many people lease them and turn them in, that I knew I could get a good deal. And I went to six dealerships in one day with um, this offer. I looked at the vehicle. I called up my bank. I asked them what my asked my bank what the deal was. And whatever number my bank gave me, I offered the dealership six to $8,000 less because I didn't want to be upside down the minute I went off the lot. And it took six tries. And I mean, real simple process. I didn't love the mean I just said, hey, I already have financing, and this is what I want. And they said no, and I shook the salesman's hand, and I left. And the sixth guy, I told him, look, this is I was in and out of that dealership in 35 minutes. So definitely there will be negotiating. Uh, there, there's a lot of things that you can use this stuff in other areas of your life. But, you know, it takes time to put that together. But there will definitely be training, customer management. Because Hustle University is going to go on for a long time because there's so many things that you need to do. But... Just like I did that with uh, the car, let's turn it around and say, on Craigslist, there's eight people with a brown leather sofa. 
and you're a little flexible in color and you're a little flexible in style because that was another reason that gave me power. I had four different color choices. I wasn't wedded to I act, and I actually got my primary color choice, which was awesome. But you got these six sellers on Craigslist, same sofa. You give them, you get your budget and say, look, this is the deal. I'm a reseller. Don't even just go ahead and say, oh, I'm trying to get a good deal. It's like, I'm a reseller, and this is what I have to offer. And they're going to say yes or no. And then you move to the next one, to the next one. And you do this enough, you will get the deal that you want. Let's see. Okay, people are getting access. Let's see. I am doing some research on CRM because currently I'm using Salesforce as part of HMA on some of the things because a lot of stuff's changed. But for you, it gets kind of dicey because I do like the ideal of CRM in the cloud and you can access it on any computer. But the thing is with that comes membership and say you don't want to pay it because in the beginning, some of that stuff's just overkill. You need a way to capture the customer's name, email address, phone number, and, you know, with the stuff they like. That's all you need. So some of that stuff may be overkill, but I'm going to, like, I'm, I'm going to go through Salesforce, and I'm going to check it out, and then I'll give you my recommendation because there's so much stuff out there. You know, I'm really familiar with Goldmine, but for me and what I'm doing, I'm able to keep up with my stuff pretty simple because, you know, based on the new business model I have, I'm not trying to get thousands and thousands of people. So it's a lot more intimate, but definitely we'll be talking about that. Let's see. What's this question? Uh, here's one from Javier. My question is how to deal with an exporter in this area. There are a lot. When you're dealing with exporters, the only thing that talks is money and you bond in volume. You're coming in there with, hey, you know, if you give me a deal on this one, I'll be back. They've heard that a million times. Uh, you've got to figure out a way where it's a win-win. You know, where you, you can move a, a certain product line of theirs where you're a return customer. Because when you start spending money with them, they become more malleable to a lot of your demands. But you're just walking in and making demands. Everyone does that. And, you know, they're used to it. And they don't really fold on it. They export, they export by container. I'm going to say you're going to have to do some legwork on that. I have imported stuff, but I've never exported a container anywhere. You know, I was getting new furniture from China by the container, and that's a trip. I'm actually going to um, do that in HMS because it's a great lesson. I mean, I'll touch on it really quick. Say you have a bedroom set. You know, there was a place I could buy a bedroom set. My cost wholesale was $695 for that bedroom set. But if I took a larger gamble and bought a container of that bedroom set, then my cost for the same bedroom set goes down to $185. Same set, same wood, nothing different. It's because I'm buying in volume, I get a better break. So that's, you know, going back to your exporter question, like, you know, when you're doing imports and stuff, it, it works out well if you can do it, but there's a few pitfalls. One, you have dead money. I use factoring, so I didn't have that, but... It takes six weeks, four to six weeks for them to get here. Then you guys go through customs and other stuff. So your money's tied up for a long time before you can even begin to sell. You can kind of do pre-sale, but it gets a little dicey. But I don't really have any experience with exporting, just importing. Uh, have you heard of the social CRM for dummies and have you looked at Goldmine 9.2? I haven't looked at it. I know gold mine, the price of gold mine has gone up. You can't really get them cheap anymore. So people that have those older copies are holding on to them because they're that good. So I haven't looked at that. I will. But I'm going to spend a week researching just CRM because, like I said, there's so much of it out there that I can't really say, hey, this is greater. You know, I would assume because of my past experiences with gold mine that it's awesome. But once again, it could be it could be overkill. I mean, simply put, an Excel spreadsheet sheet may be better for you depending on where you are with your business. Because these things have a learning curve and they're expensive. And if you don't have to spend that money now, I recommend that you don't. Uh, any more questions? Because once the question stops, I'm going to shut this down. I'm going to upload the audio 
in the uh, update uh, webinar Q&A section of, of Sparta because there's going to be two components. There will be this that will go up tomorrow and then there will be this audio that will go up tomorrow. Okay, um, you're going to have to PM me on that one, because it's, it's amazing that you've talked, that's like you're the third person this week that's actually brought that similar type question to me, and they all say the same thing, <laughs> I don't understand why you don't want me to mention it, just send me an email and uh, we can talk about it later. Okay, you're going to let me know about the export later. For example, I have a lady that buys furniture frames. Okay, cool. All right, let's see. Everybody's saying good, thanks. And, you know, we're going to leave in a few minutes. So I know you got stuff to do, but if you want to listen to this again, it will be up in Sparta tomorrow, and we will be also be talking again Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll get the links out before the weekend's over. All right, thanks for coming out. Appreciate your patience, and uh, I think this thing's starting to rock and roll like I want. All right, and I'll see you on the good side. The organizer has ended the session, and this call will be disconnected. Goodbye. This video was sponsored by Almost New of Livonia, Georgia. Contact. All right, we have people coming in. What's up, folks? We got Johnny, Matthew, Stephen. All right, kids, let's jump We're going to watch this first. What's up, people? First lineup. I want to call it a haul video, but it's not actually a haul video, but that's the, what, the nomenclature that people are going to know what this is about. Because if I put up Resellology lineup number one, people will be confused. I understand I have to train you folks. And yes, there will be biscuits and treats at the end. But anywho, let's get started. What is Resellology? Resellology is a boutique consignment business and sample business. There are, because first thing, <laughs> it's extremely pamperish. And those chairs are $500 a piece if you want. At the end of the video and under the video, I will give you a way to contact me. Suit Armor, $400. Bedroom set is, I believe, $500. Bucks. $500, $550. And this little chair, that is $200, includes the stool. And understand, I am selling all of this stuff. All of this stuff. This is that chest of drawers. That's 300 bucks right there. And this little table set. Now, this is solid wood, American craftsmanship. That is $200. And if you're going, getting right here to this little chest of drawers, that is actually American Drew. Yes, American Drew. So, drawers is $350. That little piece right there, there's a deal on that. You'll have to go see it. And this would be great for the kiddos. Yes, that's a study hutch. You know, cabinet space, extra storage space. You got kids, you need that stuff. Day bed with under carriage storage is, I'm going to say around 80%. I'm going to skip around a little bit. We're not going to watch the whole thing. I'm just trying to give you a gist of what I did this weekend. That chair is going for $1,000. I used to get my hair cut in a chair like that. Now, that's a little, uh, yeah, can you feel it? Be some duplicates because, like I said, this is a resellology. It's not up yet. It'll be up later today. It's pretty hot. Pretty. Look, that's the cement. That's the cap. We, we've got the cap. Like I said, there is a ton. Well, it's 1500 bucks by my car. It's going to populate it. And it's a him and a her. Let, let me go back. I, I do. Let's talk about if you see something like that and it's in the open. 
Okay, I'm going to stop that and uh, explain some stuff. Everything that you saw was in a friend of mine's store. They actually have two stores. I've been into an agreement where I'm going to market their stuff for them, help them with stuff, and also have a place to sell things that I purchase. So, if you remember, you know, I don't know where everyone is in terms of the hustler mindset, but there were some of these lessons that you go out and ask people that you know to give you stuff or to work with you. And one of the biggest narratives in a society is you can't work with family, you can't work with friends, and I totally disagree. I've made a lot of money with friends and family. So to help you and to help me to help you better, I launched Resellology. You know, essentially, uh, I haven't incorporated yet. I am still weighing the merits of doing an LLC or a traditional corporation, which I may do. I'm still weighing that out. But when I do it, I'm going to put that up in Sparta. But essentially, what I'm doing with Resellology is taking everything that I'm teaching you and giving you real-time education in current marketplace conditions because I closed down my store 2009 and I did you know Craigslist kind of heavy 2010 2011 I've never stopped selling but things have changed things have changed and I think that going forward you're going to have to do many things versus one big thing and that's what this is because when I approached my friend, and I said, look, this is what I want to do. She and her husband, and I talked to both of them. And I did this just this weekend. And they were like, yeah, you know, yeah, sure, whatever you want. And then they started throwing more stuff my way because I will tell you I did this for two reasons. And I want you to think about this the next time that you're making a major purchase. Because what did I say beginning of the year? Massive effort, massive results. You know, this is 2013. So... I could easily afford my new vehicle, easily pay for it and everything. But I said, wait a minute, why do that when you have the, the hustler mindset? So I came up and created Resellology to pay for my vehicle. And that was just, that was the original intent. It's like, yeah, I'll just, you know, I'll make an extra 500,000 bucks a week. Well, <laughs> when I got into it and I saw the potential, I was like, bump that. We're going to go really hard. So starting... Because I got, I got everything written down and I need to straighten up a little bit. But from, let's say today, until this time next year, it's my goal to turn Resellology into a six-figure business. That is the new oomph of the hustle mindset. Because I want as many people as possible making six figures or more. Because the deal is you need money to have a decent lifestyle. You know, to afford health insurance, to send your kids to good schools, to live in a decent neighborhood. To have a better life. I'm not saying you need money to lord over anybody. But this is what's going on. And I want people to be successful. And I want people to have a better life. And money is a part of it. Money is not all of it. There are people who don't have a lot of money. They have wonderful, awesome lives. But if you live in these United States of America, <laughs> money helps. So the reason I stopped, all that stuff you saw was in the store and I've entered into a boutique consignment deal where I market their stuff and actually sell some of their stuff which means I can make money without spending money but that's not the only thing I'm going to do going here I actually sourced these this week and I'll tell you the price they were 20 bucks a piece brand spanking new with the tag still on it they normally sell for 80 to 100 bucks but I don't have the box, so that takes shipping out of the equation because the hands are very fragile and there's too many things that can go wrong. And I was like, I'll sell them locally. And you know, that clock sold. And other ones will be sold shortly. Someone wanted that, but they're too far away and I couldn't ship it. And like I said, I haven't really, really pushed this. Uh, I'm going to do this first and then I'll answer the questions. Let's see. Now, this is the second part. Let's see. Because I'm not going to turn the sound on. I'm just going to click through it. I was getting an oil change for my vehicle. Um, I, I'll just tell you because it's actually kind of part of the story. Because I went out and got a brand new X5. And was getting an oil change. And I was sitting there and there was this le nice lady. 
And we just had a conversation and we were just talking about life and stuff. And then they're just like, okay, you know, you're in the hustler mindset. You're always telling the people, it's like when you go out, meet people, chat people up. So I just, you know, start chatting her up and we start talking. And then I told her about my concept and what I was doing. And she said, yeah, I've got some stuff I want to sell. Now, she owns, she and her husband owns apartment complexes. So the day when I go to her house, which is a mansion, you know, it's one of those things where there's a gate and then you'll call box and then you go down this long winding driveway up and then there's like this thing that's bigger than some churches. That's what she lives in. And this, these are some of the things that she has for sale. And that, <laughs> my research on that, and I'll tell you my deal with her. I'll market it for get her people. I get 20%. This bike is currently selling between 14 and 1500 bucks. Just the bike alone could get me $400. You know, say say we just say we bought. You know, she doesn't care. Say we bomb it out at a thousand. That's two hundred dollars for pretty much not even an hour's work. And then we have this. That's more of the bike. Oh, that's yeah. That is, it will sell. It has issues because as you can see, it was laid down, but it runs, so that will sell too. So with her, I have roughly. I got to do some research on this. This was an um, original chandelier that was in the house when she and her husband bought it. They didn't like it, and it's been in the garage ever since. So, trying to sell that. Don't know the price on that. That's, I had to reach out to some people. Maybe 500 bucks, because a brand new crystal chandelier is like $1,200. So, I'm thinking it's between three and 400 bucks. But, once again, I didn't have to buy it. Let's see. And, okay. We will... Go to some more attractive than me. I like these people. This, oh, this is real interesting. Just that's a wishing well. <clears throat> this sucker's heavy. But yeah, we'll 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 kick back to yeah, lead those guys up. So essentially, what Resellology is is a boutique consignment company where I actually go out and sell stuff for people, but I also buy stuff to resell. But I'm buying it as there's this thing called discount discounted wholesale. Say you have an item that's uh, fifty bucks. Well, when the they bring a new item out that replaces that, that old stock is often discounted. So it's already at wholesale. Then it's even discounted wholesale. That's what happened with those clocks because they bought them for twenty, but they normally sell for forty. So I got, I mean, that's what I'm going for because I can almost sell them for retail because you make your money when you buy this stuff. But that's what's going on. And the reason I'm doing that is there's been a few people that were like, I don't want to ask people for stuff. I don't want to go out and chat up strangers. And I'm showing you this video that essentially talking to two people, just two people. I have the potential to probably make an extra two to three grand in the next 30 days, if not more. Just talking to two people. For a lot of people, what I'm considering extra is a serious chunk of their monthly income. Especially if I hit the $3,000 mark or even $4,000. That is a serious contribution. And I'm looking at doing it maybe 20 hours a week. 20 hours a week. So if I hit my goal... And like I said, the goal is to get this to a six-figure business, which means it's going to take more time investment. But I've got it set up in stages. You know, first three months do this because there's some assumables that I'm making. And this is why I'm saying if you have a business ideal, go for it. You'll find out those little nicks and that things that the best business uh, plan can't forecast. And there's going to be some twists and nuances that I need to change up because... I may have to because the original thing was not to get a warehouse, but I'm probably going to end up having to get a warehouse because there are people like uh, my, my first customer, she and her husband are going to Europe. So when they're gone, I can't sell her stuff because I don't have access to them. Small problem because they'll be back. But uh, this is why you want to have a few customers. And you can do the same thing where you are with the people you know. You, I mean, think about it. If you could move an extra five hundred dollars worth of stuff a month. I mean it puts five move stuff that move enough stuff that puts five hundred dollars extra in your pocket 
that you didn't have to spend any money to do. Because understand, if you're already in the resale game, you have infrastructure. So just adding an extra thing. And the biggest thing that I'm seeing, and one of the reasons I'm doing this webinar, is there's a lot of people that are really reluctant because before they make the first effort, they're looking at what could go wrong. How many bad things could happen to the point that they don't even try. That's not good, my people. That's not good. So really just try it. Now, if you try it and it doesn't work out, that's one thing. But if you're saying, oh, it's not going to work out, and you don't even try, and you go ahead and regulate yourself to, ah, this is so scary. This, you know, at least try it. Okay, well, that's the overview. And at this point, I am going to open up the floor to questions. So there's one here already. Let's click on it. Are you buying units again? Let me talk about that. My friend buys units, uh, but this is the thing with me in buying units. After I, I wrote a book about <laughs> buy storage option units, and my name is still mud out there. There's a lot of people that didn't really like me before, and they, now they hate my ass. So I can go out there, and I've tried it. I've gone to a few auctions, and it happened. I got bid up. I mean, I got the units, but... It was just a matter of, we're going to show him up. We're going to try to make him look bad. So it's not even a business decision. Also, at some point, I will probably be buying units, but I'm not going to buy them directly. I'll get someone to buy them for me so I can get that price that I need. Because right now, tax season's in full swing, and the prices have been ridiculous. But as for me getting out there, doing what I did you know, a decade ago, not going to happen. That would actually be de-evolution because I don't say this to be arrogant, but in 2002, we probably did 10,000 things and, you know, because we we're just going really crazy, 10,000 sales on eBay. And there's a lot of people, they haven't done 10,000 sales in 10 years. So, and that's another thing. I am really, really avoiding eBay at all costs. If I have to use them, I will. But I'm forcing myself to develop other selling channels because with this new company, Resellology, there's going to be a Facebook page. And going back to the clocks, that's how I sold one of the clocks on Facebook. And not a lot of people saw those clocks. I'm going to wait a little while and I'm going to post them again And when I post more stuff to create you know, that uh, energy. But based on what I've learned the last four years, you have to do things differently. You have to do different things. And the stuff that I'm keying in on will work with Facebook. Whereas my information products, it's kind of like, eh, you know, but this stuff will work well. And I'm going to take you on that journey. But as for me, like getting back, going out there six, seven days, you know, six, seven days a week, buying units, getting a warehouse, buying trucks, not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. And a good reason for that to not happen is everything has changed. Uh, I'll give you an example. I signed up for Link, which is awesome thus far. I haven't made a purchase. I haven't sold anything with it. But they give you all of the functionality of PayPal. But they're a little bit more transparent because when you sign up, you have to give your social security number. They tell you why they're asking for stuff. If you have a taxpayer ID, they're set up for that. Um... Uh, I like it so far, and that's what I'm going to use for resellology. I'm not going to use the, you know, it's just, it's a little higher than normal, but I'm not going to dicker over a percentage point on this stuff when I don't have to go through the formal, long drawn out merchant process, and I don't have to have equipment, and I don't have to pay a monthly fee. So when you start factoring in the monthly fee, now if you have a lot of sales, then the monthly fee is immaterial, but for me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it, and I'll be able to talk to you about that experience and how these things work. Because if I do eBay again, because with eBay, you can sell on eBay without PayPal, but you have to have an electronic payment option, and I think Link probably has that, but I didn't look at it so far. But that's the long, drawn-out thing about buying units. Any more questions? Um, going to hit up with day 15... Because, like I said, I'm going to start releasing stuff, but it's going to say day 15, but it won't be, like, exactly 
congruent with the calendar. Because, you know, like I said, a lot of people got behind. So day 15 to pop up and then maybe two days later, day 16. Because this right, this webinar is going to be under a separate category. This is not going to go under Hustler University because this is different information. This is going to go under webinars Q&A. But I'm going to get that going and I made some decisions. I made some decisions about the Hustler Mindset Project. Um, everybody that's in, you're good. But starting May 1st, because there's a lot of people in here, the price of Sparta is going up to 200 bucks a month. And there will be a different, there's like, there's already several different tiers. But that one's going to be 200 bucks a month. Monthly consultation will be included in all books and stuff. Because, you know, I feel that we have a really great group of people. And it's not full. You know, we're not at 300 people, which was the ultimate goal. But I like the fact that I can talk to people. And like I said, I'm getting better at, you know, answering stuff and getting on emails. I still need to work. I need to work. But getting out and doing reselleology is forcing me to be more efficient because to be just totally unvarnished, I was kind of tired of sitting at home all the time. It, I know it sounds great. I know it sounds crazy, but it was last week getting out, going to the apparel mart, making deals, talking to people, seeing some old friends. It was freaking awesome. And I think it's going to make this course much better than I'm doing now. Let's see. Here's a question. <laughs> This is from Stephanie. Hey, I'm here for the first time. <laughs> yeah, I can see that you're in here. <laughs> and look, once again, there will be another webinar Thursday night, 7 p.m. Because, like you said, you know, if you can't make it, you can email me a question. I uh, know because I'm waiting for some more questions. Because I may even just do a question-only webinar and put it in Sparta, and it'll be under the webinar tab. But Seriously, if you got any more questions about anything I said, anything that's going on at Hustler University, just let me know. Because one of the things I'm trying to do is to respect your time. I'm thinking 30 minutes is plenty because there's a lot of information to digest in Sparta. And then, you know, for me keeping you here for an hour, I don't think that's necessary, especially with there being two sessions a week. You know, give people, you know, once I get this thing rolling and people get used to the Monday session and the Thursday session, then it'll be cool. Now, that's going to end probably sometime this summer, like August or maybe September. That's going to end. And then there's going to be something else that I'm going to be working on, but I can't tell you about that yet because we, we need to get this done, get this together. And I want you to start building businesses. I want you to start doing this stuff because the summer is a great time to strategize because sometimes your sales go down, sometimes they go up. But that's another reason I'm doing resellology now, because what I'm doing now is going to be crazy in the fall. It's going to be nuts in the fall, and that's why I'm laying the infrastructure, learning how to make the business better, learning how to sort this stuff out. Because, you know, like I said, the ultimate goal was not to get a warehouse, but if I have to, this is the time to do that. Or partner with someone that has a warehouse. You know, I'm still working that out. And when I do all that, I will share you with you step by step how I did that. So any more questions? Shoot now or forever hold your peace. Let's see who who do we have in there? Hold on. <clears throat> I know sometimes it takes a minute. Let's see. Got a lot of people in here. Now, Sue, any question about Hustler University or anything I said, just go ahead and ask. I know you, <clears throat> excuse me, you'll have to type it in because the last time I tried to do a webinar and had open mics, all kind of crazy stuff happened. People had cats walking by. The kid was like, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. Okay, if no questions are coming through, um, <laughs> we'll wrap it. Oh, <laughs> that always gets questions. Uh, hey, this is from Stephanie. I have a question about partnership. I really wish I could find a partner with the Hustle Mindset also, but it's impossible, but I feel necessary. Okay, let's talk about the partnership thing. It is really, really, really hard to find someone that's just like you. You should find someone that has a good work ethic, 
but has strengths that you don't have. And this takes being real honest with yourself. Like my partner was an accountant. I'm good with numbers, but I don't like sitting in a ledger all day. She did. So it worked out really well. She was very hard working. I was very hard working. In terms of, you know, sometimes an employee is better than a partner. You can pay them less and you get more work because, <clears throat> excuse me, the deal with finding someone who's going to work just as hard as you, it's going to be really, really tough. I mean, you have people who are married, stood up before their friends and family and God, and in that partnership, you got one person that works harder than another one. It happens a lot. So I would say instead of a partner, Think of getting people that you can trust and build your organization with. Because when you're small, one or two people is plenty. One good person is plenty. But to answer you directly, if you're going to do a partnership, do this. Sit down, get a piece of paper, and fill it up with what do you want in a partner? What are you looking for? Why do you need a partner? Start answering those questions Asking and answering those questions, and it will help you find that person easier. Because right now, in your head, it's like, I need a partner. But what kind of partner? What should they be doing? I mean, there, there's a lot of stuff that's to, that's part of that. So, hopefully that helped. Uh, any more questions? I will wait a second before I put the hammer down. And let you know... There's going to be another haul video probably Wednesday night or Thursday. Probably Thursday because I'm going to the other store. And it'll probably be shorter. But that's going to be... And that's going to be a big part of what's going on because I'll give the stuff. And actually, I'm running an experiment to see how well you can use YouTube to sell stuff. And you have to be kind of careful with that. That's why I was like, you know, this is sponsored by because you can sponsor stuff on your channel but you can't do pre-rolls and you can't you know i, I could have had prices all over listen don't do that the people who will be interested will find it and also i'm creating this facebook page i'm que i'm creating i'm probably going to do tumblr i know it sounds strange but tumblr there's a different community there and this is going to use instagram and a facebook page and I may not even buy, uh, I may not even do a website, a regular website for this. I know, right? It's kind of crazy. But those are the tools and the things that are out there now that you don't have to do the things. I mean, it's kind of like a pop-up website. I can get a bunch of stuff, put it up there, and boom, when it sells, take the website down. Because with Link, you can put in code, and there's another company, Ribbon, where when they check out, they go directly to that website and they check out. So you don't even need a website with Ribbon. But Ribbon takes 30 days to pay you. Let's see, Stephanie again. I got my warehouse in the light industrial instead of storefront. How to draw traffic besides advertising, Craigslist. And I'm limited what I can do outside the shop and it's in rural warehouses. Okay. Go ahead and start developing you a Facebook page. And start putting up all the colorful and wonderful stuff you have in your store. Uh, let's see. I think you came in. And you want to probably go to the Hustler Mindset. And take maybe 30 minutes a day. Every day. And start at the first video. And just listen to everything. Because there's a section about talking to everybody in your family. Because essentially you need to build your own customer base. And Facebook, you know, depending on what you sell. Uh, a lot of people have done very well with Facebook community pages where they're only selling to people in their neighborhoods, you know, you know, just Atlanta. Because uh, one friend of mine, he, he had a, a friend of mine, well, two friends of mine. One has a consignment store, and she told me this two years ago. She gets 40% of her traffic to one store in East Cobb from her Facebook page. Facebook pages, stuff that women are interested in. Jewelry, shoes, furniture, home decor, dresses, stuff like that. Does very, very well. But yeah, you're going to have to create your own buzz. And this summer, you know, check out and see if code enforcement works on the weekend. You can have like a 
warehouse sale or garage sale every Saturday or something to move some slow moving stuff. Because another reason I'm doing the boutique consignment is, and not storage auctions, is I don't want to develop that infrastructure I had. I want to develop a hybrid infrastructure, infrastructure of the web and the real world. Because the real world, 90% of the sales out happen in the real world. Whereas only 8 to 11% is happening online. You think about that. That's a lot of money in the streets. And for the last few years, I've been making my living completely online. Completely. With really not a lot of extra support. You know, when I was doing Craigslist, I was selling. But I wasn't selling at the level that I was selling when I had the warehouse. So, that's what's going on. Uh, some more changes. The books are still coming, but... I felt it was more important and I, th- I felt it was a more worthy goal to create a company than to just keep pumping out these audio books and stuff because I got a list and it's like, you know what, let's just scrap that. And when I say scrap it, the HMS 300 book club is still in effect. It's just the books that come out every two months. I actually have a meeting with a editor, someone I'm interviewing tomorrow because I want to make that better. But I also want to get out of the house. So that's really driving a lot of this stuff. Okay, any more questions? Anything else that's going on? Talk to me, talk to me. Because I don't see anything else. I will wait a few seconds before putting the hammer down. Because I know sometimes it takes a while for these things to come across. Let's see, where are we time-wise? Oh, we're at the 30-minute mark. So, I will hold up for a second, but if no other questions come through, I am going to shut this down. And for those that missed it, this will be in Sparta tomorrow. Okay. All right, well, that's it. I will talk to you good people later. If you have a question that comes to you immediately after... (laughs) (laughs) I shut it off. Send it to updates at hms300.com. And I will get on those this week because there's a few questions in there and I will put them in like special formats. All right. I want to say thanks for everybody that came out. Appreciate you. And I will see you on the good side. The organizer has ended the session and this call will be disconnected.